seven, I believe. And my name is Sharon Graff, and I'm the owner of The Modern Skein, which is a yarn store here in Montgomery, Texas. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you so much for all of the heartfelt comments that we got on the last podcast. It really did make me feel really appreciated, um, so thank you very much. I will be continuing the podcast. We may have a few breaks. I won't try and stress myself out on podcasting when we're out of town, um, things like that, but I am going to try and keep to a mostly once a week podcast, just with the occasional two-week gap here and there. Uh, let's see. So let's get started. We have a few things to go over because mainly I, I came into the store and I was looking at one of our displays and I realized I don't think I ever showed this on the podcast. I think I showed it on Instagram, but I don't think I showed it on the podcast. So we'll look at that in a minute. First, works in progress. I only brought one to the shop today with me to try and work on a little bit, but I'm working on my Norderney, which is a pattern, excuse me, by Isabel Kramer. There you go. So you can see it's a textured panel front pullover, meant to be uh, worn with, I think, six inches of positive ease. Yes, it's shown with six inches of positive ease. Mine, I believe, will have around four-ish. But, let me show you what I've got. The construction on this is really fun because you start it in a couple pieces and then you join and then you join again and then you join one last time and you're working in the round. So, there it is. This yarn shows such amazing stitch definition. It's just gorgeous. So this is the Harrisville Designs Nightshades. It's not a yarn that we carry or plan on carrying, but it was yarn that I was actually gifted a skein by one of our amazing customers. And I loved it so much that I went and bought not just one sweater quantity, but two sweater quantities. Because once I finish, this, which will be my nice basic black sweater. That's, I mean, even though it's black, you can totally see all of the work that's put into it. Um, so once I finish this sweater, I will cast on the bouquet sweater by, and I always butcher her name, I so apologize, Yoko Okamata, I believe is her name, Junko Otomaka. I'm not sure if you pronounce the J or not. Um, but it's bouquet sweater and it's gorgeous. The original one was done with a really speckly background and then a solid, so it was really subtle. Mine will be a little higher contrast. I don't really have, I don't have that color with me. I think I've shown it on the podcast before, but it will be the black. This is Nightshades. Um, 12.57? Yes, the color 12.57. And it's an all-American, 100% Cormo. So 12.57 is technically black with bits of brown. So it mostly looks black. Although every now and then I get that brown and almost a navy blue hint in it as well, which is really pretty and really subtle. Um, so bouquet, it will have a tan, slightly peachy, but more tan um, contrast color to do the color work on. So yeah, that is my work in progress. So I've just been working on the body. Uh, I believe yesterday I measured, I'm getting close to 10 inches, and I think I go to 13 maybe. I'm going to do 13 to 14. I will try it on probably 
once I finish this next repeat just to see if I'm going to do the called for length or if I'm going to extend the length. I don't want it to be a crop top. It's not designed to be a crop top. It's just designed to be a regular sweater, regular, regular length sweater. So I'm going to want it to hit around where my hip bones are for me personally. Sometimes that's closer to 15 inches depending on how dropped the sleeve is. So I will measure after I try it on and see how much longer I want it to be. So that is Norderney. So that's my work in progress. I also have still that I'm actively working on. I just didn't bring it with me. My turtle dove that I'm re-knitting. I'm now about five inches past the armhole separation. I haven't worked on it much. I have been working a lot on Norderney, but I have been giving myself a few breaks because Norderney it's knitted a tighter gauge and it is a chart. So sometimes you just want mindless stock net, which the turtle dove is once you've separated for sleeves. Uh, the other things that I have as works in progress, but I haven't been working on this past week are my three color cashmere cowl, which we did, we the ladies at the yarn shop and I decided that I will save that to work on my cruise upcoming to Alaska in June because that's a good airplane mindless knit it gives me something beside it's not a big bulky heavy project um, either so that will be one of my trip knits I will obviously take more than one um, work in progress or project to cast on. So I also like to cast on on trips too, something new. One whip and one cast on. So we'll see. It's not till June, so I still have a ways to go. Although it's kind of crazy that it's already April. This year is just flying by. It's already April. This is my anniversary month with my hubby. <clears throat> okay. We have two store samples that are new. This one is done in Red Stag fiber. Let me show you this. Isn't that cute? This was actually knit by my mother. And it is the Lalo shawl by Shannon Cook. So I just wanna show you. There's some really fun textured drop stitches very good for beginners to knit because um, it's just basic garter stitch you have some yarn over increases and you have the drop stitches um, and you're working with two colors at the end or you switch colors at the end so this is this top one here is velvet tapestry by red stag and then the bottom is french waistcoat so that's a new shop sample. And then we also have a shop sample for some new yarn that we're we are debuting for the month of April. And this project is um, actually brought to us by one of our great sit and stitchers, Jan. Um, so there is an organization in the Montgomery area that's opening up um, at the end of this month, I believe the 26th, 27th is their grand opening officially. And it's called Life Giving Life, The Recovery Project. And it's a, um, a place where people that are struggling with addictions and things can get help. And it's just a really great organization. And um, we have some more information about it here in the back um, with this display. But it's a little fundraising yarn that we're doing. So... We have two skeins of yarn, and this is hand dyed by Sleeping Dog Designs. So that's the organization that the proceeds go to, and that's the dyer, Sleeping Dog Designs. So the colorway is called Hope, and it's taken from their logo colors. And this is a fingering weight, 490 yards. This is a DK, and this is 247 yards and both are retailing for $26 
and your entire $26 that you pay for this game goes directly to Life Giving Life. Um, I'm giving all of the amount to them. So we have a limited number of the fingering and the decay. I am not putting them on the website, uh, but if you are not local, all you have to do is email me or shoot me an Instagram message or Facebook message with your email and you can tell me what base you're looking for and I can send you an invoice. There's actually some less fees involved and so since I'm giving all of this um, profits and uh, not just profits but basically the entire amount to the organization, keeping the fees low on my end is best for me. This is a shop sample that Jan knit up for us in this colorway so you can see it works up gorgeously. And this is actually a free pattern called Serenity. Um, and it's available on Ravelry. It's really pretty, just basic one skein shawl. So this is the colorway Hope. And it is available for the month of April in the store. And if you want to buy it online, just shoot us a message. Okay. The other new thing that we have in store, it's not that new, but I don't think I ever shared it when we got it in, maybe about two weeks ago. As we got it in after the anniversary, I think. Pretty sure. We got our remaining batch of Scout by Kelborn Woolens. So Scout is this wonderful, it is not a hand dyed, it's a mill dyed, but it's this wonderful 100% squishy amazing wool that's technically a sport weight, but you can treat it like a DK as well. Um, or you can really tighten it up and you get a really firm fabric, but you can squeak out a fingering weight DK, uh, fingering weight DK. That makes no sense. Fingering weight gauge. It is just a very dense fabric. I recommend doing either a pattern that calls for sport weight or for DK. Um, but we got in new colors. So we have the charcoal heather, which is their almost black. We got this, which is the navy. And there's almost little bits of teal and purple in the navy. It's really pretty. They're all slightly heathered. And we got, oh, what's this one? Mulberry. Really pretty burgundy wine color. This is graphite, so kind of a mid-tone gray. Did I show this? I didn't show this one. This is just gray. This is blue heather, so kind of a steel blue with bits of teal. This one, this is a gorgeous color. This is sunflower, beautiful mustardy yellow, great for spring. This is moss, and this is the orchid heather, so a nice bright purple. So we have almost all the colors now I believe in stock we are limited in a few but the rest we have back stock in so full sweater quantities for DK um, if you want to do color work this yarn is amazing for it because it blooms beautifully there is a sample cowl the gateway to rustic cowl that I knit up in the I think they call it purple heather uh, here in the shop with um, the Baby Siri from Red Stag Fiber and with a half skein of Hedgehog Fibers fingering weight. And it's just a beautiful cowl. And it's really nice to work with as well. <clears throat> the other nice thing is this is great for your bases of, and your, like your body colors or your background color, main color for sweaters because it is a little more reasonable. It's $16. Plus you have a solid background, then you can play with either some textures or pairing in the beautiful skeins of hand dyed yarn that we have in the back. Ta-da! Okay, what else? I still have um, two copies left of Interpretations. Uh, they are available both in store and online. 
so if you're still looking for interpretations number six, I do have two copies left. I also have either one or two copies left of volume five in case you were missing that or want to start building a collection. We can talk about events. So we have coming up this month, in the 27th is Local Yarn Store Day. So Local Yarn Store Day, we will be featuring a trunk show from Lisa Urban, who is an artist and hand dyer. She'll be coming in from Bryan College Station. So that's something to look forward to. Plus we will have some limited edition items specifically for Local Yarn Store Day here in the shop. And it's a great day to come and sit in it all day, come hang out with friends. Uh, if the weather's great, then sit outside on the patio um, next door from Beanpunk, the coffee shop. So yeah, I hope you come out for local yarn store day. The other really big thing that's happening, it's not till August 19th through the 26th, I believe. August 19th through the 26th is the first annual The Yarn Trail, a Texas yarn crawl, which is a Houston and East Texas area yarn crawl. So this year we have six shops participating, myself, The Social Network, Park Avenue Yarns, Maraby Needle Arts, The Yarn Store Boutique, and Yarnia in Nacogdoches. So all of those uh, shops are participating and all you need to do to register and to save your trail guide and your bag and any other little extra goodies that we'll surprise you with is to go to www.theyarntrail.big cartel that's b-i-g-c-a-r-t-e-l dot com and that's the website where you can see some details find the dates and go ahead and register and that also when you're on there you do select what shop you're choosing to pick up your trail guide and your bag from so it's most likely whatever yarn store is closest to you or the one that you consider your local yarn store um, but do select that so that we know which shops need to have how many bags and trail guides. So that's going to be something to look forward to. I will have um, at least one if not multiple trunk shows going on at that time. Plus we'll do some some store exclusives and just some really fun stuff for the week of the yarn trail. And every once you've registered if you hit every single store and you get your stamp on your trail guide that you visited every single store within that time period, you will be entered in to win a grand prize drawing that at minimum is going to be over $300 value. We haven't quite gathered up everything yet, but at minimum it will be over $300 value. And it's going to be amazing what we all contribute because it will be at something from every single store in this big wonderful gift package so that's something exciting to look forward to mark your calendars start saving up for that plus we will also be we meaning the modern skein we will be exhibiting at the houston fiber fest in june i believe it's the 20th through the 23rd um josh and i will be there josh will have red stag fiber uh, I will be there, obviously, with, yeah, if I'm going to be there, I will actually be there, uh, with a lot of yarn. Uh, we will be featuring quite heavily Ching Fiber, Red Stag Fiber, Suburban Stitcher yarn. I will have yarn from Diane that we will be showcasing at DF, uh, DFW, no, she's at DFW right now, that we will be showcasing at Houston Fiber Fest, and just some other fun things that we have of course in our store pins and soak and all that fun stuff so 
Be sure if you're going to Houston Fiber Fest to come see us. It is, I believe, still free entry to the expo. Um, <clears throat> and I believe the expo is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't think they do anything Thursday open to the public. So um, you can go to Houston Fiber Fest. I believe it's HoustonFiberFest.com. You might need to check that. Um, but go on there and they have all the details and we will be one of the vendors at Houston Fiber Fest. What other events? We will also be exhibiting, it's not till November, but we will be exhibiting the Modern Skein and Red Stag Fiber at the East Texas Fiber Festival uh, this year being held in Canton. So I believe it's like the 13 through 17, somewhere in the middle of the month. But if you go to East Texas Fiber Festival, they have an Instagram and Facebook page, and I believe a website as well. And you can find the dates and the details of that, and we will be exhibiting there as well. I think that's our two big shows that we're doing this year. And as far as in-store events, we are working on lots of amazing goodies, working on a trunk show for the entire month of May, um, and also something for June. Truly really trying to get a trunk show every single month, and I've got other things lined up through the rest of the year as well. Plus, we have our new technique class starting on the 4th of April to tomorrow. <laughs> um, I just realized that's tomorrow. We have, we're doing a sock class. So beginner sock class for anyone who has never knit a sock or is not at all ready to, not ready, no, that you are ready to knit your first pair of socks. Uh, we have amazing teacher Jan Cox coming in and teaching the Hermione's Everyday Sock, um, which is a cuff down very nice, but not a basic vanilla sock. You get a little texture, a little pattern, a little interest to it. Cost is $55. There is one spot left remaining, so if you want it, send me an Instagram message or an email as soon as you see this, and uh, hopefully it has not been snatched up. We're doing April 4th. It's always on a Thursday. April 4th, April 20. 5th, I believe, is that Thursday? Because the 27th is Saturday. 20th, yeah, April 25th, and then May 16th, I believe, is the last one. So it's a three part class, 1 to 3 p.m. $55 gets you your pattern and your classes, and you just need to provide um, needles, which two circulars are required, US 1. I'm getting in needles today. So if you need a pair, you can have those, and then some sock yarn. Oh, let's see, what else? Oh, in conjunction with that, from April 1st through May 31st, we are doing a sock knit along. So if you got our web, uh, got our website, got our email list, then you would have seen that gotten our email list. If you are on our email list and you received our monthly newsletter, then you would have received the information on the sock knit along. So if you already know how to knit socks or want to just do it on your own, then you can join in on the sock knit along. All that is required to be entered into the drawing is that you use some yarn in your sock that is from the modern skein, whether that be some yarn you purchased earlier that's maybe left over from a sweater or a scarf or shawl or some other project, or you purchase one of the mini skeins, or you just purchase one of our sock sets or sock yarn in general. Choices are up to you, but it does need to be a pair of adult socks. I'm not specifying what length the cuff is, but it does need to include a toe, a heel, and a cuff. Um, so yeah, and you have till the 31st to complete your pair of socks. Take a picture of them, post them to social media, and tag Modern Skein in them, or bring them in, let us take a look at them, wear them in, send us an email with the picture of them, 
all of those uh, entries work. So I look forward to seeing all of you guys' amazing socks that are coming in. And I have yet to determine exactly what the gift will be, but it will be around a $25 value gift. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's fun sock patterns that you might be trying or fun yarns that you're doing a vanilla sock in. There's lots and lots of options. Uh, then once that wraps up, June 1st, we will start our second annual um, Shawl Mania. Shawl Mania, we'll can talk about this later, but it will begin in June and it will go through the end of September. End of September? No, <coughs> excuse me, end of August. And it is our Shawl Knit Along there will also be prizes involved with that. Excuse me. <clears throat> I had about a drop of water in that bottle. Uh, <clears throat> but, okay, with the lid on. Okay, back to podcasting. So, uh, stay tuned for more details on Shawl Mania later in the year. And I hope you join in on the Sock Knit Along if you're a sock knitter or want to become a sock knitter. And if you're not, I hope we see you in the shop sometime soon. We have, of course, our sit and stitch all day on Tuesday, uh, Friday afternoons, and Saturday mornings. So be sure and pop by, no matter if you knit, crochet, lap weave, needle felt, preferably not wet, well, wet felting, that's quite messy, but small little if you can put it in your lap you can bring it and hang out with us <laughs> let's put it that way um so i look forward to seeing you guys in the shop very soon or online on social media or with an online order we always give a handwritten note to all of our online orders thanking you guys so much for helping support our small business thanks so much and we'll see you next time Bye bye